Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas Eve. I thought I would just vlog this weekend and show you guys what we get up to. Right now we're actually getting ready to go to the beach and we're gonna spend it at Pacific City for the holidays. We are all ready to go. I have my bag and I'm wearing a super comfy outfit because it's gonna be a long drive. So right now I'm on my way to our mailbox to drop off some Christmas letters, but it is such a nice day outside. I feel like it's been raining the past couple days and that's been super gloomy, but it's actually a nice day today. and I didn't explain this but we just got to our beach house and we dropped off our dogs Jack and Jackie at a kennel that's like 10 minutes away from here and so now we're going to eat lunch so I'm just now about to start wrapping presents I know a little last minute um, but there has been a change in plans because normally we'll open gifts at midnight but we're changing it to earlier I wanted to show you guys what I got my parents because I think it's super cute. I got them matching George Fox sweatshirts. It's like reverse, but this one says dad and then mom. And I think it's super cute and hopefully they like it. I know that there's a table behind me that I could be wrapping my gifts at, but I just prefer the ground because there's just more space and it's comfier. <laughs> All done wrapping the gifts this one's my mom's my dad's my little brothers and then my older brothers We're gonna be making crinkles. We have sugar, flour, cocoa powder. This is vanilla this is extract. This. This is this. And this one. We're gonna speak the Galog for five minutes. And I'm not very good at speaking the Galog, so we're gonna see how this goes. We can use a spoon. What's taco? I mean, I don't taco. <laughs> How do you say I'm getting one cup of cocoa? Uh, I'm getting one cup of cocoa. Okay. I'm getting one cup of cocoa. I'm getting one cup of cocoa. Do we do that at first? No, no, no. Or we we'll get another one. I'm keyed up. I'm just going to go for it. This is okay, where I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Good. Okay. I know next step. Kalahati in cup na vegetable oil. Half a cup. Papa, I'm not wearing that. Oh, right this. Oh my god. Wait, this is so. This is actually really cute. I really like this. They're so cute okay. and our little Amy. <laughs> Don't forget to wash your hands. Did you wash your hands? Don't forget. I know no game. I know no game. I know no game. I know no So yeah, hello. So we're going to mix her. She looks like that. 
She was looking good. Did we add the cocoa powder? Because last time we didn't add the cocoa powder and then it turned out awful. So we're not making that same mistake. Did I mix this last time? No. Remember oh. we were sleeping <laughs> and I had to redo it. So you He's a trooper. Okay, ano be? ng tagal? Susunod? Huh? Yeah, ano ng susunod? The next susunod. one would be the eggs. One at a time. Okay, I do it. I mean, na ako ng ga... Wow, I'm struggling. Ako ng gano... Gagawa. Gagawa. That's the one. See how this gonna go into the... thing. I'm hollowing it. Hollowing it? Basagin ng glove. Basagin ng glove. Okay, more. Can you cuento uh, uh, favorite memory from your bata? How do you say childhood? Kabataan. Kabataan. Okay, can you cuento? Cuento. Actually, wala kami oven. So, hindi ako makapunit kami makapag-bake. Ang pagod ng arm yeah. a fourth egg. This is what it looks like. Anong susunod? Sa kucharita. Kucharita? Ah, Anong dami? Wait, wait. Ka ba ng kucharita? Teaspoon. So, <laughs> you should have taken the hit. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. extract. One and dalawa. Dalawa. Wait, how do you say you're like beautiful? Like that's like a comment that you say, not like you're beautiful. You just say ang maganda. Maganda. Oh, how do you say perfect? Perfecto. It's looking good. Okay. We should start a cooking show. Set that aside. Magtakal ka na. What's tak? Anong takal? Takal. Anong ko kanina takaling mo? Mix it. No. Haluin mo. Takal. I don't know, hindi ko alam. Tagals, but the act of spooning it. Pili mo na yung harina. What's harina? Anong harina? Flour. Flour. Really? This is not flour. <laughs> <laughs> this is flour. I got it, watch. Oh, okay, bala. So, this is... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is the flour. So we're putting it in the dry, not the other one. My bad. This is one. This one and then another one. She needs to move. One. And our second. Then two teaspoons. Baking powder. Powder. Baking powder. Ang dame, question mark? Yes, I'm going to make this. Salt is a sin? A sin, yeah. Since when? Half a teaspoon. Wala ating kucharita. Oh, doon. Oh, matik na. Matik. Kahuluin mo siya nito. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. The brother. <laughs> no, they're orphans. So we don't have them on. The other sibling. Oh my gosh, this is the baby. <laughs> Wala nung sadi sa parents. Magulang. Anong sunas? Anong? Ano? Kailan mo niya? Kung gago ba? What is that method called when you shibut it? Folding. He's folding it. Wow, you're doing great work. Great work, inspired. Put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> Okay, see you in four hours. So the little man and I, we've built this Domino's thing. Okay, Sanjay, do the honors. Go ahead. My dad, he set up, he's still wearing his apron. <laughs> he has his own little DJ 
station thing. This guy can literally solve a Rubik's Cube in like under a minute. We're in our Chris's pajamas. My mom has her little hat. We're gonna take pictures. Okay, this should be good. Wish us luck. Color. Are those steaks and then that's the chicken? Yeah. <laughs> thinking that even though the holidays and even this year has looked a lot different than we anticipated and it came with its own challenges and obstacles, I hope that today we can pause and celebrate the gift that Jesus has brought to us and that we can have relationship with him and that even though our circumstances are changing that our hope and salvation in him cannot be changed. It's such a crazy and beautiful truth that in Jesus we are made whole and we are healed and perfect and worthy in his eyes and it's not anything that we could have done or anything that we can do but it's what he's already done for us. Anyways, last night my dad and I, um, I didn't get to show the process of us taking the crinkles out of the refrigerator but we let the dough sit for four hours and then we took it out, rolled it into balls, and then put it in the oven for 10 minutes and they turned out really good. So I came downstairs and then my mom set up this table. Look at what my brother did to the chicken. It is now the next day and I realized I never ended the vlog yesterday and so I thought that I would come on here today and end it here. So today we are just packing up, cleaning up the house, and going back to our home. I'm currently sitting outside and it feels super nice because yesterday there was like a huge storm and it was pouring rain the whole day so we didn't get to go outside but today it's still cold but it's not raining so that's a great thing. <laughs> Before I ended this vlog, I wanted to just give you guys a little update on my health. So I had my follow-up rheumatologist appointment the other day. And a huge praise is one of my medications, prednisone, actually got tapered. And so now I'm only taking two tablets. Crazy to think that I started out taking four tablets. And then it became three and a half. And then three. And then two and a half. And now I'm taking two. Seeing the progression and how my body is adjusting to the medication is just just really cool. I remember being in the beginning stages of everything and wishing that I could be at a point where I can look back and see the growth and it's just so cool that not even a lot of time has passed and I've already seen the growth and I know that more growth and healing is going to keep happening. Also, my rheumatologist is the sweetest human ever. I know that sounds weird to say, but he's just been super understanding and kind and gentle in the way that he asks me questions and helps me process things. And so that is a huge blessing. It really is a huge difference. And before I went through this whole situation, I wasn't very aware in how I approached people in certain topics that may be sensitive to them or they're not super comfortable talking about it, but going through this situation, it's helped me become more empathetic to those who may be going through a difficult time in their lives. I wanted to go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and for just tuning in on this little journey of mine. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, whatever time it may be. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.